July the 22nd, 2022. Guys, we've had a lot of uh, solar activity the last few days, and we have an incoming CME today. It should arrive around 4 p.m. on the East Coast. Uh, we'll keep an eye on it. You do have a plus or minus several hours of uh, the window because the uncertainty of the solar wind speed. But guys, uh, we've talked about in the Bible before as you look at these explosions that this time the earth would be changed by fire, not by water. We're seeing record heat in Europe and many fires, over a thousand deaths just in Spain from the heat. Texas, you're having, you're breaking records um, all around the northern hemispheres just in trouble. But as we look at these forest fires, again, Texas, you had a record amount in the last few days. Then it makes you think about if the entire northern hemisphere is in trouble with the heating and the forest fires, are we beginning that takedown by uh, fire? It makes you think about it, doesn't it? Now, we've talked about Malachi chapter 4 and Shemesh and the healing wings of the sun. But right now, we are dealing with, again, it's hard to, put, it's hard to say exactly where we're at in Revelation. But again, when you see the fires that have burned across Europe all the way to the beach in the last few days and all the people that are having trouble uh, worldwide with it, it, it does make you think, if you're a Bible scholar at all, you have to think, is the world starting to burn it, as far as the heating instead of a flood, again, by fire? Just wanted to throw that out there. Here is the tracking of the CME couple different models right there again the, the sun is the white dot here the earth is the yellow dot right there on this model you got a group of satellites around the earth that are picking up this information now well as we play this forward you'll again see the timing about 2200 hours this afternoon universal time which would be about 10 p.m uh, over in europe but that's going to put it around 4 p.m. here. There's your explosion right there, crossing very powerful, very hard. We've had a few CMEs lately, but uh, they were glancing blows, or we saw a little bit of pressure, geomagnetic storms and all. This one may be a little stronger, and we do need to watch for earthquakes. That's the main reason I wanted to come on early and talk about this. If you're dealing with uh, 4 p.m., on the uh, west coast again here 2200 hours notice which just before impact the earth is at the top of the scale in the green line that is density in plasma in centimeters cubed the bottom chart gives radial velocity in the green line and that is a solar wind speed and you, you're going to you're seeing we're going to get very close to 700 kilometers per second over a million miles per hour impact speed so pay attention to that but uh one other thing, uh, guys, there's still some of the Alexa Pure water filters on sale at $199. That's an incredibly good price for these days and times. If you don't have water for your family, make sure that you get uh, a way to get it. In other words, if you had to bug out rivers or streams, lakes, ponds, whatever it is, with that filter, you can filter the water and... Uh, have safe drinking water. That's the only thing that's going to keep folks alive. There's going to be a mass migration from the West Coast because of this. And I'll put that link below this video, guys. We're watching it. You watch it. It's a heads up. Again, I wanted to just kind of put this out there because of the possibilities of geomagnet geomagnetic storms, um, increased heating because our shields are weak on the surface of the planet, and uh, just keeping an eye on those earthquakes. It, we're watching it, guys. You watch it. So heads up, be safe.